Hey, and welcome to the tutorial of Dripify. Dripify is all-in-one LinkedIn outreach and lead generation tool that helps you create drip campaigns and go beyond weekly LinkedIn limits, such as connection request limits, all for $60 per month. So today I'm going to show you how to use Dripify to get the most out of the platform and LinkedIn itself. So let's begin. Click start free trial and sign up. Once you log in, you of course need to connect your LinkedIn because you're going to be using LinkedIn to outreach and generate leads. So go ahead and connect your LinkedIn account. And once you add your LinkedIn account, you'll be asked for a LinkedIn security code. This code will be sent to your email. Go ahead and take the code from your email and paste it right here. And once that's done, you'll be welcomed into the platform. So first you need to add a little bit of information about yourself. You have an option to add your teammates if you have any. Okay, so once you start, you'll be met with your dashboard. Here you'll see a couple of things. First of all, you'll see overall statistics of today. So you'll see how many connection requests you sent, how many messages, emails you sent, basically everything that's happening today. And here, where recent activity, you'll also see what is happening at exactly that time, right? What the accounts you have connected are doing, right? If you want to see more, you can click view more next to the statistics. Here you'll have a huge overview of the whole week. And you can, of course, select different dates. But here you see an overview of a longer period of time to see how many, how many emails you're sending, how many profiles you follow, basically all the actions, all the replies, everything that's happening, right? You can filter this, this data by campaigns and even export this data if needed. The second thing you'll see in your dashboard is your recent campaigns. Of course, you don't have any yet, but uh, once, you add, once you create some, you'll see them right here. And also, you'll be able to see how your team is performing if you have uh, connected any other team members to your account. Now, before we can create any campaigns, let's first adjust the limits of your LinkedIn account. So go to settings and go to limits and activity control here. Here you can adjust everything to make sure you don't look like a spammer on LinkedIn. And this is very crucial if your account is fresh. You don't want to just send a bajillion of connection requests, right? Because you're just going to look like a spammer and LinkedIn's not going to like it. So what you can do is adjust these filters. Now, activity control is on, which means uh, those, uh, which means the limits were selected by the platform based on your activ activity, but you can adjust it yourself. I usually suggest you keeping this on because this will uh, then then it will adjust the actions, the limits based on your account. Uh, but if you're starting out, you can just lower them down. If you're experienced, you can just put them uh, higher, right? That's that. Uh, now, what you want to do as well is turn on working hour. This is a time when your account will be active, sending connection requests, in mails, responding. Usually you want to do this in your prospects time zone. So if you're targeting people from USA, you add a time zone that's in the USA and usually from working hours, right? So from uh, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. or from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And once that's done, I also suggest to turn off weekends, but you can uh, you can uh, test it out. Maybe it's even better for you, but for me, it, uh, seems to not work uh, that well. Now, once you adjust your limits, you can go to the Teams tab and invite any members again if you need any, right? Uh, we don't in this case, so let's go to Lead. This is the tab where whenever you start the new campaign, you'll see all the leads that Dripify has scraped and you can export them and use them however you like. So, but first, let's go to our campaign and create our first campaign. So click Add Campaign, click Add Leads, and then you can name your, uh, uh, your lead list. So for example, test one to three and then you have three options so you can link a linkedin search paste profile urls as you can see here all the uh, urls you've scraped or upload a csv file so we'll let uh dripify scrape leads for us so we simply need to add a linkedin search url simply go to linkedin search whatever your icp is we have a short form content automation as an example and go to the people tab once you do that simply copy the url go back to dripify and paste your url right here. Select how many users you would like to scrape from this uh, list and create a list. Uh, click next and then you'll be able to select templates. So there are a couple of ways to go about it. Let's see what lead generation looks like. So click preview and this is what it looks like. You first send an invite. If it's accepted, in one hour, you will endorse your prospect's skills. Then after an hour, you'll send a message. If they do not reply after three days, you'll send a follow-up message. If they don't reply after four days, you'll send a uh, another message and then after one day uh, you'll end the sequence or 
if they uh, do not accept uh, your invite after five days you'll you'll follow them after five days if they still don't accept it you'll view their, their profile and after 20 days the uh, sequence ends if they do accept of course it goes this route right and that's what lead generation does you have uh, other options like endorser uh, endorsing skills you can review how the workflow works uh, the extra profile views you can see that and you can create a custom campaign so let's see what it would look like if you wanted to create a custom campaign select template and then you'll be able to fully customize your your sequence right so you can add an action for example send an invite right then after one day what do you want to do if they do not accept what do you do maybe you add a view profile right you add another action another action you can adjust all those days however you like or uh, or hours for example three days four days I suggest to go from three to four days and you basically add actions as much as you'd like so if the, if uh, they do not accept the invite uh, this happens if they do this happens you send a message right and that's how it goes right and of course this uh, can depend on any action for example let's remove this right you can start off with uh, any other action right if someone connects with you for example if you, uh, you can send a message in mail right away you can uh, start not with an invite but if, uh, to view their profile you can endorse their skills basically fully customize your whole outreach now let me give you an example for example if you want to send a message what do you'll see is that you have some custom variables you can use the information from their LinkedIn profile to add custom variables for example instead of saying hello right you say hello first name and what this will do is it will pick the name of your prospect the same goes with their company name right uh, their country position and any of these other variables that you can select so this way you can create custom messages that are kind of personalized right you're not just going to be generic hello it will be hello uh, first name hello last name or uh, hey your company name is doing great right so that's what you can do as well so for example once you have your your template done your sequence done you can simply select next and of course this is <laughs> it's not done right but uh, click next and then you'll see a summary so you can name your campaign hello right and then you have a couple couple of options so for example you can not reach out to, uh, to leads that don't have a photo you can uh, not reach out to leads if they don't have an open profile right you have these options to basically filter out leads that may be inactive or don't match your ICP so once you add all of these uh, limitations uh, on the sequence level on the campaign level you can simply save and launch of course you also have an option to add webhooks integration but this is a little bit more complex but you have an option to whenever some Something happens to start uh, an automation via a webhook whether it is make automation Zapier automations CRM automations whatever you have and simply click, click Save and launch and now you'll be reaching out to uh, prospects that you just linked right of course we're going to turn this off because this is just an example but another beautiful thing about Dripify is that all of the replies you get and remember you could have multiple accounts on here LinkedIn accounts and reaching out to hundreds of people you'll have all the replies in one place right so in the inbox tab you'll be able to manage all the conversations that you have ongoing with all uh, on LinkedIn across multiple accounts right so you won't need to log into one account another check all of them no you simply come to dripify and you'll see all the messages right here of course we don't have any because we just set up the campaign but this is the beautiful part about automating link LinkedIn outreach with dripify because you see everything in one place now of course you cannot just focus on LinkedIn that's why I want to suggest you take a look at Salesforce Salesforce is all-in-one email outreach platform where you can create hyper personal called emails without spending any time writing them so what will happen is you import your leads right and the platform itself Salesforce will go ahead and scrape information about your lead and combine that information with your information like your, your company name your product name whatever your product does your product the pain points your product solves right the designs and everything to craft unique and personalized emails for each recipient so if you want to have great results I highly suggest you combine LinkedIn outreach with uh, email outreach and this way you'll be able to dominate and I mean if you have no skills uh, on email outreach you can simply hire agent Frank and and this agent will automate everything from email infrastructure shut up set up to lead scraping to outreach to replies uh, so all you'll need to do is basically book sales calls if you found this valuable subscribe and if not I suggest you take a look at these videos and maybe then it will change your mind see ya